I am four years and nine months on the carnivore diet and I've never stopped eating on the carnivore way. Um, so which means I've, I haven't gone back to eating a, um, a Western type of diet or eating fruit and vegetables and bread and things like that ever. Um, but I do have a sweet tooth. <laughs> And then whenever I ate something that I shouldn't have, like a chocolate, um, I then feel bad. <laughs> and then my energy levels will fall immediately. Because what happens is uh, you take yourself out of ketosis. And then um, you get a sugar spike, of course, when you eat something sweet, for instance. And then... You feel bad afterwards when the sugar spike is gone. But I'm now very, very strict with with that. Um, in earlier videos, uh, I talk about a few years ago, um, you would hear me say that I now and then would enjoy uh, ice cream with the family and so forth. I'm now very, very strict with that. <clears throat> it was my son's birthday today and they had cake and all kinds of sweet things and I ate cheese, uh, which I'm very grateful for. It was goat's cheese. Uh, Johannette and Henk, thank you so much for the goat's cheese. They thought of me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so what, what I discovered is when somebody gets serious with their health when they perhaps have a health scare of some sort uh, they they suddenly get very serious because like for instance i explained in an earlier video let's say somebody suffer from prostatitis um, bleeding of the prostate or maybe they have inflammation that they can't get rid of or there's some marker um, inflammation marker that's very high and they're, they're scared um, and <clears throat> they don't know what it is and, and so forth. Insulin resistance is the culprit that um, make that you don't heal, that you don't recover from things like prostatitis or inflammation or any other type of, of healing that needs to take place. So insulin resistance, you can go and look as uh, very high risk factors for cancer, for instance. Um, and when you are at a certain age, you start to realize that um, you need to live healthy. The carnivore diet is not a, um, a burden. Uh, it is a, a choice. It is a, a health choice and it's a very wise choice. Uh, but you have to be serious about it because many people are not serious about it. I, I work with people every day and... I can see some of them, they are just not serious. I work with di diabetics, um, and I tell them you can reverse your type 2 diabetes, but they feel they have their medicine and they are fine. No, they are not fine. Although they are controlling their blood sugar levels, their insulin keep on going up because they, they have to use more and more medicine. So the insulin keep on increasing, and uh, so the, later on, they are even becoming insulin dependent. So although they are a type 2 diabetic, which takes tablets, at one stage, they, some of them start to inject insulin. So like I said, there's some cancer risks, like 90% mortality risk for some type of cancers. If you have high insulin levels, uh, insulin resistance is associated with things like ED for men. Um, because for women, um, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, a heart disease, poor blood circulation, and the list goes on and on and on. Um, but what, like I said, what I found is when people um, get a health scare, then they suddenly are very strict. I interviewed a friend of mine. You can go look on my blog. Um, he went for his 13th chemo and he was very strict um, when I interviewed him. And in that interview, it was a few years ago, I 
I said, yeah, no, I, I might have an ice cream um, and, you know, in a few months time or so. <clears throat> but now I'm very, very strict. I'm very, very strict with, um, because like I said, when you, when you eat something that you're not supposed to eat, you take yourself out of ketosis. So your insulin levels go up. So you, let's say you suffer from inflammation. Um, then you, you hold yourself back. And that's why I say you should look at the carnivore diet as um, not a, a burden, but it, it's, it's a pathway to, to heal yourself. It's absolutely the way to heal yourself, the best way to, um, to give yourself proper nutrition. Um, yeah, so uh, you must eat fatty enough. You must eat fatty enough and you must not cheat on your carnivore diet. You must not put sweet taste in your mouth um, because then your cravings will stay and you take yourself out of ketosis. Don't drink sh sugary cold drinks. Don't drink fruit juice. Don't use sugary sauces, things like that. The, the stricter you are with your carnivore diet, the easier you make it for yourself. And remember, we don't calorie restrict on the carnivore diet. This is the difference. You are satiated. You are full. You don't. Uh, have cravings a, cra a lot of the cravings is in the mind like the sweet cravings I had um, for my sweet tooth addiction <laughs> like a chocolate um, it's more in the mind than anything else so you have to make a mind change as well mind shift as well and uh, I always say if you have to cheat cheat on the carnival way in other words eat things like cheese different kinds of cheeses, blue cheese, uh, goat's cheese, all kinds of cheeses, cheddar. And even though there, there is carbohydrates in it and you might overconsume in that moment, it can prevent that you don't eat something else and eat boltong and things like, like that, of that nature. But don't calorie restrict and eat fatty enough and eat until you're not another bite full. Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe there. And if you have fallen off the wagon, get up. There's no sense in staying down. The best thing that you can do is to return to your carnival diet. Forgive yourself and get back to the basics that made you successful in the first place. And know that other people manage to uh, get it right and you can too but don't stay down there's no sense in that and don't beat yourself up just begin again have strong reasons why you do what you do